This wicked stepmother is truly cruel. She ridicules the mute and deaf prince, claiming he's unfit to be a king. She watched as her son, David, assaulted Prince Porgy. When the king passed away, she altered the royal decree, giving the throne to her own son, David. But her next actions were heart-wrenching. Porgy, despite being the eldest prince, was deaf, mute, and short since childhood. He was the laughing stock of the kingdom, but the giant king had chosen him as his successor. Suddenly, a dark red smoke emerged from the king's mouth, and a terrifying monster appeared. The monster pointed at Porgy, laughed, and vanished without a trace. That night, the queen ripped the royal decree, declaring Porgy unfit to rule. The ministers chose David, the second prince, as the new king. Porgy was devastated and felt betrayed, he was unable to voice his feelings and ran out of the palace. He tried to seek comfort from his best friend Karkar, but Karkar was captured by Babin and imprisoned. To escape, Karkar mutilated his own body, but Babin stopped him before he could flee. Karkar insisted he wasn't an assassin, he just wanted to help Porgy. Babin, believing him, found Porgy. He showed Porgy a sketch of Karkar. Porgy nodded, acknowledging